Welcome to Japanese Cooking 101. Today we are going to make miso soup. Let's take a look at the ingredients. We have 4 cups of dashi or fish broth, 1 package tofu, 4 to 5 tablespoon miso paste, and 2 green onions finely chopped. Miso paste is a paste made from fermented soybeans used to season soup, sauce, and other dishes. There are different kinds of miso by color, texture, and flavor. You can find miso at some grocery stores these days in the refrigerator or Asian food aisle. If you have a Japanese or Asian market nearby, you can certainly find more varieties. Or you can just order one online. Dashi used here is Japanese fish broth and it is a key flavor factor of miso soup. We explain more details in our dashi recipe video and on our website, JapaneseCooking101.com. It is easy to make and very flavorful. Okay, first we are going to cut tofu. There is no right or wrong way to cut tofu, but you can just slice it in half and then cut it into bite-sized pieces. You can use both soft and hard kind tofu in a soup. You can also use vegetables, seafood, and meat in miso soup instead of tofu. You can make it heartier by adding more stuff or make it simple like this one. It's all up to you. As I said before, to make good miso soup, you need good dashi. Here's a quick recap from our dashi video. All you need to do is to put a couple of handfuls of bonito flakes into boiling water and cook for a few minutes and strain it. That's it. It's really simple and we explain all about it in our dashi recipe video. Now we have 4 cups of dashi already made in the pot. We then put the tofu in and heat it on the medium heat until the tofu is hot. You don't need to bring it to a boiling point because tofu is delicate, but just to the point that it's heated through. If you are using other ingredients such as vegetables, seafood, and meat in miso soup, you can bring it to boil and cook until everything is cooked through. Now we add miso paste. If you have a small strainer like this, it's easy to just dump miso in and dissolve miso directly in the pot. If you don't have one, you can just use a ladle. You don't need to strain miso paste, but strainer just makes it easier to stir it in the pot without breaking tofu. Finally, you put some green onions and remove from heat. Looks great, doesn't it? Miso soup is Japanese soul food and often called ofukuro no aji, which is a flavor of mom's home cooking. We certainly love the flavor and it's a true comfort food for everyone. Hope you will enjoy it as much as we do.